Today I'm going to show you how to render a decent video using Maya. To make a nice video, we're going to use Arnold Render to get the highest quality. Here you can see that I've already created an animation. And if I play this animation, it shows my character leaving. I'm going to start by showing you a quick trick to get a nice environment. I'll go to Polygonal Modeling and make sure I'm in the Modeling Workflow. And then I'll select the cube as my starting object. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and go to Face and delete these faces and delete the, the visible faces that are towards me. Now I'm going to right click again and go to, back to object mode after I've deleted those forward faces. If I look around a little bit, you can see this is like a little mini stage. I select the object and then I go to mesh display, reverse. This will flip the faces around so that I can see them better. Now I'm going to move and scale my cube so that it becomes a stage. I'm using the scale tool to scale this up by quite a lot. And then I'm going to translate it upwards so that it um, matches the ground plane. At this point, I'm going to switch over to the Arnold render so I can see how this is going to look. And I'm going to go to render Arnold and click the play button in order to see the Arnold render. Now I do need some light sources. So I'm going to go to rendering and create a few light sources I have to set the light exposure, so I have to go over to Arnold Render and then change the light exposure to, a, to something better. And I might create multiple light sources um, to get a much better illuminated environment. Here I'm going to create three light sources for three-point lighting. Now if I press play, I should be able to see this render with the Arnold Rendering. You may want to reposition your lights to make sure you have the illumination on the most important parts of your scene. Let's see how this looks. Remember to save your work often. If I want to, I can continue to improve the lighting by moving light sources or adding materials to the scene before I render it. To render a video, we first need to click on the render settings. That's this icon here. Rendering status will allow us to control the type of rendering that happens. I'm going to choose the Arnold render to get the highest quality. Now I start to set the settings for the graphics. Notice that Maya does not allow you to export to a video directly, for example, an MP4. You have to render first out to individual files and then use another program to compile them. So I'm going to render out to PNG first and then compile these later. The size of the image will determine the quality and also how long it will take to render. Here I'm going to render a fairly low quality 720p video. If I wanted to do 1080p or 4K, it would take a lot longer to render. I also need to set the frame extension so that it outputs multiple files. Here I'm going to choose this frame number.ext. The last setting to adjust is the total number of frames, which I set here. The start frame is 1, and my animation currently has 50 frames, so I'm going to set the end frame to 50. Those are all the settings I need to change. I have the path, the image format is PNG, the extension includes a numbered output, the frames specify the start and end range of my frames, and the video's image size determines how many pixels the images will have. Once I've adjusted all the rendering settings, I can close this window and begin rendering. When I'm ready to render, I go to Render Sequence here. This is under the Rendering tab and is this small icon with a yellow icon with an S on it. This renders a sequence. I click this and it should start rendering each frame of the animation. Frames will be output to the location that is indicated here at the bottom. It will render every frame in sequence until they're all completed. If I want to see them on the disk, I can find this location and see them being rendered. It may take some time for it to render all of the images in your sequence. Once all the images are ready, I'm ready to compile them into a video. There are several different ways to do this. You could use Premiere Pro, After Effects, or a command line program called FFmpeg. I'm going to use Premiere Pro as I find it the easiest to use for making a video. Here I found the location of my rendered images, and I'm going to tell Premiere where to look for them. To create a new sequence, I'm just going to create a new project. Now I want to import all of these frames. 
I go to File, Import, and I paste in the location of the images. I select the first one, and now importantly I click on Image Sequence, and it will use each of the numbered images as a sequence to create a movie. This is the key step for making a movie from a set of images. I click Open, and now get a single video that represents that sequence of images. When I drag this to the timeline, this is my first chance to play the video. Finally, I'm ready to export the video, and I go to File, Export Media. Now I adjust the settings to the output I want. I'll change the format to H.264. I'll do Match Source for high bit rate. I'll double check that the size of the video is what it should be. I will change the video bit rate to match the quality of the video. So for a 720p, I might use 8 megabits per second. And I'll enable maximum quality rendering. And now I'm ready to output a video. I also want to set the output name to something that I can find easily. So this is going to be my um, rendered movie MP4. The H.264 will output an MP4 file, which will be the final video. Once that's done, I click on Export. Now I'm just going to find that final video and take a look at how it came out. That's it. That's how we render a movie from Maya out to images and then use Premiere to compile them into a movie. I'll see you again soon and take care.